little story comes to my mind. Some time ago, a little boy was sitting in a, a wagon, a gun fired down the street, and the horses run away and was going over a cliff. A young cowboy run, stopped the horses just before the wagon went over the cliff because it had a baby in it. He saved the little one's life. Many years after that, standing in the courthouse, this same boy had done a crime, thought the road that's wrong, been guilty, he was drinking, gambling, shot a man, and was guilty, found guilty. And the judge raised up and said, I sentence you to hang by your neck until your mortal life is gone. That young man said, Judge! And he broke the court procession as he jumped over the rail and fell at the judge's feet for mercy. He said, Judge, look at my face. Don't you know me? He said, No, son, I don't. He said, You remember a certain little boy's life that you saved many years ago from a runaway horse? He said, Yes, I remember. He said, I am that boy. He said, Judge, you saved me then. Save me now. The judge looked down at him and said, Son, that day I was your Savior. Today I'm your judge. Today he's your Savior, sinner. Tomorrow he may be your judge. Let's think it over now. As the music plays and everyone praying, those who are on praying grounds with God, I wonder tonight now, quickly, those who would like to accept Christ as personal Savior, say, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I want to come by the shed blood. I'm tired of joining churches and running from place to place. I want to be born again. I want an experience in my heart that I know that Christ has revealed Himself to me by the spiritual revelation that you just spoke of, Brother Adam. I want the spiritual revelation, the Holy Spirit in my heart, making me alive, bringing Christ more real to me than I am to myself. I desire that experience, Brother Branham. Will you pray for me as I raise my hand? Will you raise your hand now? Who desires to be remembered? God bless you, lady. God bless you back there, lady. That's good. God bless you, sir. That's good. Raise your hands. Now go on up with your hand. How would you be shameful? Could you reject such as that, friend? Remember, oh, you say, Brother Bram, preachers has preached for years. I know, but one of these days you're going to cease preaching. And the way things look, it might be right away. You're going to hear your last sermon. Frankly, this may be your last. Or you say, I'm young. That doesn't matter. There's no respect of person or age or ability. Will you now accept him as personal Savior by raising your hand? Say, God, be merciful to me. Raise your hands with the rest of these and say, now I want to accept Christ. Will you raise up your hand? Somebody that's backslid, say, God, be merciful to me. I want to come back to Christ this night. Now, tomorrow might be a resurrection new for me. Would you raise your hands? Bring up your hand. Say, be merciful to me. I want to now come. Will you do it? Raise up your hand. Say, I've been a backslider, but tonight. God bless you, lady. God bless you. That's good. I will accept Christ as my personal Savior. I will accept Him tonight. I wandered many years away from God, but now I'm coming home. Will you accept Him tonight? That this might be a new resurrection for you. Your old life might be finished. This lady's coming up to the altar to make her confession. To stand. Somebody else want to take her place here? Come up here with her on her confession. Would you stand up and come up the altar too? The altar's open. Certainly. Come right on up right now. If you want to stand here and pray, it'll be just all right. Come on. Will you come? Upon the confession of your faith, upon your belief in the Son of God, will you now come? All right. It's up to you, remember. You are the one. Are you a sinner? Are you a backslider? Are you cold and away from Christ? If you want to be raised anew with Him now, start life anew. How about you, husband and wife? It's been at, been at outs for a long time, fussing in your home. Why don't you come and straighten that thing up with God and each other now? Make Easter really an Easter party. Start a new home. What about you? It's never been, it's never had prayer in your home. You just go home from church and try to live the best you can. Never bring your family together and pray. That's why we got juvenile delinquency and the things we got. That's why the American homes are broke up. Won't you come start anew tonight? Will you do it? You're invited. Remember, I'm your minister now. 
I'll be a witness on that day. 